Hello friends, it's Astro here and welcome back to another Prison Architect series where we're going to dial things up a little bit. We're going to have some fun. We're going to have a male prison. Old number one is going to be running the show. We're going to have everything ticked except for lakes and buildings because I don't really like those things. And unlimited funds and cheats. No thank you sir, we are doing this legit. And to make this fun, here's the mutator stack for this game. Volatile, needy prisoners. Get me out of here. So they're going to try and escape all the time. They're going to have massive needs. And they're going to try and make fun just for just for gigs. Just to have fun. Uh, all reps revealed. We can see what these guys are up to. Fast deliveries, fast walking to make things, you know, quality of lifey type things. Um, short sentences, may as well. Contraband scanners, why not? And no contraband limits. So, the challenge that we are setting with this prison is, I'm allowed to parole prisoners, right? And I'm allowed to bring prisoners in. The prisoners that I bring in must only be minimum security, and I'm allowed to patrol those minimum security. But, because they're needy and volatile, they're going to get bumped up. So, I'm not allowed to touch the uh the the policy to change when prisoners get bumped up so if they attack a staff member or if they commit murder they get bumped up to medium security and from then on in i can't release them i just have to deal with them and to make things even more fun i'm going to set it to accept one prisoner per day forever period that's it i must only accept one prisoner per day so if i'm paroling more prisoners than i'm bringing in i won't make money if I don't get enough prisoners in because like they're only coming in too slowly, I won't make money. It's just going to be like that. So let's see how that goes, shall we? Kick it off. It's a medium prison. Um, I tell you what, what I'm going to do is instead of like, I always build right up front next to the road here. I'm going to go like over here a little bit to this little blob here with the intention of um, making things more difficult. So let's set some things up. Total prisoners. One, no medium security, only minimum security, and we only accept one per day, no more, no less. Um, prisoners, none at the moment. Staff, cool, no worries. And then jobs, uh, well, meh. Grants, let's do the standard setup procedure, shall we? Basic detention center, administration center. We'll rattle through this first episode as quickly as we possibly can. Um, should we do some planning? I feel like we're not going to have time. I feel like if I fluff about in the planning area for too long, all right, we'll, we'll plan a little bit, he says, immediately saying, oh, I don't think we should, and then immediately doing what he says I don't think we should. So uh, what are we going to do? I think we may need a holding cell in this prison. We're going to need a reception, and then we're going to need a like a corridory thing that leads to... Actually, I'll tell you what, hang on. Let's do the, the, the reception in this top end of town, and we'll get rid of that. And we'll have a corridor that comes from reception to deliveries, because that's going to be where people enter the prison, right? Then we'll have a double door and a double door, which later we can replace with... Should we do it with... We'll do it with single doors right off the bat. Why not? There shouldn't... Well, we know that there's not going to be like large numbers of people coming in through the front door. So that should be quite fine. So we'll have our holding cell here. Um, and the holding cell can go like 10 by 10. And then it can have like a 4 by 4 shower in the corner. This thing here can be a kitchen, a big old kitchen. This bit here can be a huge old uh, canteen. And then we're going to have, I guess, un yard and un common room. And then from there... My vision on this is that we're going to have to have um, probably along here, and it's going to be like, I think they need to be like six by six, right? Uh, with a corridor so that they can get into it. And actually, we'll make it a double wide corridor, right? So I'm planning all this out now. Or should I put that? I tell you what, all of the uh, the parole rooms, I'm going to put them out here, right? So there'll be like a huge block of parole rooms and then maybe a visitation room as well to help like like that's going to be the externally facing stuff but then the rest of it from here 
will be internal and then we'll have cell blocks that stretch up like this. And then we can think about segregation and stuff too, right? But critically, when those parole rooms go down, they must be locked at, um, yeah, minsec only, period. Oh, uh, God, I, I'm, I kind of made up half of those rules on the spot and I'm hoping desperately that I don't regret that. Actually, one of those was going to be a yard. So cancel that. Let's do like, oops, let's do like this. There we go. And like that. There we go. So that can be the yard there. We'll get some, uh, some fences in for that. Actually, you know what? Let's have a, let's have a concrete wall. So it'll be a walled in yard. And then on the outside here, we're going to have our initial fence line just to act as an additional because these boys, I mean, you know, with the get me out of here uh, going on, they're going to want to try and escape a lot. Um, so I kind of want to be prepped and ready for that. We'll, um, we'll start with a solitary door on the outside to make it as secure as possible. We're going to have a, let's just do a staff door into the external area for now. Right, so that it doesn't uh, it doesn't disrupt my workmen from doing the things that they need to do, and let's get the ball rolling on a few things that we need to do here. Okay, um, as for officers, I want them to be as far away from the action as possible, and I think that if I quick build them, uh, let's go an office, so it can go. Oh look, should it? I mean, I kind of don't want that. Should I put them, like, way the heck down here so that they're well out of the area? This might, might not be a bad idea. I, I kind of don't want them to be anywhere near the action. Um, I mean, I could... Mm, I could put them in here, but I kind of want that reserve... Actually, here we go. Let's do offices that can back onto wherever that parole area... So the parole's going to be, like, this stack here. Um, uh, hmm, uh, hmm, this side? Crap. I always do this. Always do this. I'm like, oh, well, I'll just plan this out really well, and then I planned it out really poorly. Um, right. We'll do offices and stuff on the north side, and then on the south side, we'll do visitation and, uh, other stuff of that nature. Yeah? Yeah. Let's do that. Okay, so, we'll dot these in... Like this, it'll be a short corridor between them, like a thin corridor. And then um, we're going to need some utilities as well, which is freaking massive. Uh, I may have to custom build that. Okay, let's custom build that. We're going to have a... Uh, these are brick buildings out here. So we're going to get a brick building that stretches out to and including the fence line. And we'll, um, we'll get in and demolish these walls here. And then prioritize that so that that's taken care of sooner rather than later. And then once this all pops in, we can then pop in our um, power plant. And should we put the uh, the water station in here somewhere? We've kind of got this dead zone here. Yeah. Okay. Dead zone. Water station. Yeah. 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 Okay. This is good. So the water station can be there. And then the power station can be like in this neck of the woods up here. In fact, we might even extend this one notch further over. Over? But further over? Further over so that we've got enough space for said power station. Oh no, we've got plenty of space. Alright, I'll tell you what. What we'll do is we'll just plop that guy in just yonder and we'll put in the requisite a single capacitor for now. We'll get some cablers going out of that and out of here and then down to here. We'll wrap that into the prison prof. Frack, I've done auto lights again. Oh my god. And you guys know how much I love auto. It's fine. It's fine. But what we'll do is we'll turn that off for next time. It's fine for now. Oh, I hate when I do that. And these desks, when you rotate the quick build, they go the wrong way around. So hang on. Let me just dismantle these desks. And we can replace those. Right, so there's our power station. It's queued, although there isn't a door. So let me just um, pop in a staff door. I'll put it here with the intention that this office will eventually be... And we'll use the desks to control who goes where. But this office can be the foreman's office, yeah? Um, that's where that's going to go. So we'll just plop in a desk there. 
Let's get ourselves our warden hooked up. And then let's get him working on researching how to get uh, old Meredith on board. Meredith's going to be a critical person for this because I reckon cash is going to be a difficult, uh, a difficult situation for us to bear. Okay, so what we're going to have is a reception here, uh, which can be just concrete walled in like this, and then down like this. We're going to have a little door there for the water pumping station. It's a bit of a big room for the water pumping station. And sadly, it doesn't quite have enough space left to then also be a cleaning cupboard, but that's fine. Um, this over here is going to be the kitchen, which we will leave a, uh, a hole for, and we will leave a hole here for them to get into. Hmm, should we do it that way? Probably not. Uh, and then a double door here for the, um, you know, the way to get through the holding cell into the canteen, and... Uh, probably just a single regular old door. In fact, I probably don't even need to wall that off. But I have done it. So that's fine. It's done. Um, I'll just, just have to, like, you know, deal with that. Uh, right. Door. A uh, large jail door from there to there. That's nice. A regular jail door. Uh, let's do another sol solitary. I know these guys are going to be escape friendly. So uh, the more doors I put in, the sooner, uh, the better that my experience is going to be. Uh, a couple of shower heads. Um, I am actually gonna leave the, um, I'm actually gonna leave the holding cell in situ this time because I think that it's uh, relatively necessary uh, just in case we, we can't get any rooms up and running uh, in time for our one dude per day sort of situation that we're going to be dealing with. Um, kitchen goes there. Yard goes uh, out here. Um, a common room, which isn't necessarily a requirement, but I'm going to do one anyway, goes there. And then on this side, uh, this one can be a reception. Uh, and that can go there. Spiffy. Okay. In fact, you know what? Before we go too much further, let's replace this water pumping station down at the bottom. And then we, we can actually use the front of this room as a cleaning cupboard. Um, which is going to be like not necessary for a little while because of the fact that we don't have uh, uh, cleaning researched at this stage. But once we get cleaning researched, that's going to be a spiffy thing to have. So donk that there, down in the corner, out on the street. Billy and the poor boys are playing. Bring a nickel, tap your feet. If you don't know what that is, well, that's fairly understandable. So. Um, I did um, weather and all of those sort of jobs, so I'm going to have to put in some hot water as well, so we can pipe that out that way. This is the big pipe that's going to supply everything, so um, it can sort of run straight through here, and then we can splay that out to the new cell blocks as they come online. Whew, I'm, I'm like speed building this first episode, right? I usually try and take things kind of uh, gentle and slow, but um, no, today we're going to like smash this do some good work and uh, get this up and running ASAPP. Whew, right, so kitchen. We're gonna need some power in the kitchen, but first we need to plan how this kitchen's going to look, objects wise. Um, now someone sent me, kindly, um, the most head melting spreadsheet that I have seen in a long time, where it said that a cooker should have two fridges, not a fridge having two cookers, as I usually do it. Um, let me replace that wall there and I'll make them come around this way through what then can be a staff door here. So yeah, I've, I've been doing it wrong all these years, um, but that's okay. It's, it's fine. These things do happen. We can have a couple of sinks on, uh, on this side of the room and then we can have our, uh, cookers and things on, on, you know, down this center section here. Um... But yeah, apparently it's more efficient to have two cookers, uh, sorry, two fridges and then a cooker as opposed to two cookers and then a fridge, um, which kind of makes sense, I guess, because they can be shuffly doofly back and forth and then two cooks per cooker um, is the recommendation. So it, 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 it kind of does make sense that if there are two cooking positions on the cooker, like two hobs, then you would have two cooks to operate those two co uh, two hobs. Although, I don't know about you, but when I'm cooking on my stove, which has like four burners on it, 
I, I'm I'm generally using more than just well, you know. I was going to say using more than just one, but it depends on what I'm cooking. Honestly, it depends on what I'm cooking. If I'm cooking a like a big party meal, oh, I'm I'm talking. Oh, hang on, we've got our first uh, customer. First customer. If I'm cooking a big meal for friends, then yeah, I'm I'm absolutely going to be busting out all four cookers um, and like going absolutely crazy pants. Um, to make some kind of crazy food mageddon. Um, but if it's just me, eh, it kind of tends to be a little bit a little bit less exciting than that. Uh, let me put that there and let me actually dismantle uh, these objects and move them down. I've, oh, I've done the lights as well. Well, bother. Um, anyway, I'll move them down one notch just to give a little bit of clearance so that people can get to that serving table. I, I feel that that's kind of necessary. We're going to have these benches popped back in. That's enough for eight dudes, right, to get us underway. Uh, we're going to need a bench in this here holding cell as well. Oh, crap. Guards, cooks, spiffy, objects. We are running at two speed at the moment, which is making things a little bit... Uh, a little bit... blustery, a little bit fast. Um, and let's get two toilets there, right? Just for the uh, for the holding cell to be looked after. Um, have we? Okay, great. Oh my god, things are going so fast. Actually, I'll tell you what. Let's uh, let's ease back on the throttle a little bit. We'll um, we'll, we'll settle it down a, a wee smidgen, and we'll get this all hooked up over here, and then out and down to here to the hot water. We'll get this hot water hooked up to this sink here, so that's taken care of. And we're probably going to need a radiator, at least one. And we'll just pop that there and hook that up to a hot water pipe. I guess like this through the wall? Yeah, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Ooh, reception. Um, what do we need in here? We need some tables. A couple of tables. And then a chair, which can go this way. And an office desk, which can go this way. And is there a light in there? I kind of feel like there isn't. Uh, I kind of feel like we have to pop a couple of extra ones in. And we need to replace the ones up here that we removed as well. Spiffy. Okay. Canteen taken care of. That is a shower. That's not meant to be a shower. That should be a yard. So I misclicked that. Did I make the, uh, the shower a yard? I certainly hope not. Let's just double check that. Okay, great. I probably did. Um, cool. Okay, well, have fun um, uh, spinning back through the footage on that one and seeing how I managed to mess that one up so bad badly. But in the meantime, next step, let's get Meredith in here because uh, we can now bring her on board. We'll spawn her to life in the warden's office. He's going to birth her at his desk. Um... With, uh, with coffee uh, to assist him in that process. And she's going to stand here complaining about not having an office until this desk goes in. But we can... We'll sort that out for you quickly, Meredith. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. We've got you. We, um... Oh. Hmm. Oh, dear. These guys don't have any way to get into this area. So let's get them a little staff door like that. And then when we get deployment, we'll classify that outside area very rapidly as staff only. And uh, yeah, there you go. Hey, Hale, welcome aboard. Alex Hale, uh, sentenced to one year for bribery. So this is our first needy nerd uh, who is, I mean, look, the forgery, fraud. These are white collar nerds, right? And they're coming in and they're gonna be looked after and we're gonna like just, just shove them in here for the time being. We'll see what we can do about keeping them happy. Um, you know, maybe we can pop a phone booth in here for them. Uh, maybe we can pop in a TV, right? We'll just do a couple of things to make sure that these guys are going to get looked after and hopefully they don't get too ticked off because as soon as they start getting ticked off and murdering people, we can't parole them. Um, which is, you know, that's the other thing we need to beeline towards is getting some parole rooms up and running. Uh, even before we get cells online, quite frankly, I think we need parole rooms as an absolute matter of priority. Was it need five by five? All right, let's plan out where our initial stack, I'm not even going to do visitation to get us underway. 
Right, so it needs to be five by five like that, which means we need to draw a seven by seven box around the outside to make that big enough. And that can be six, seven. That's an awfully big corridor in the middle there. Ooh, hello. Shall we try the old cheeky tactic of doing five by five and then five by five and then leaving a gap of one and poo? No, it's too small. All right, so um, with that in mind, let's do seven by seven like that. Let's do seven by seven like that. And then I wonder, we don't have it yet. Oh no, we do. Right, visitation has no size requirements. So this center section here, it, it looks like a corridor, but it's just gonna be a very long and skinny visitation room. How's that sound? Yeah, yeah, are we, are we onto something here? I think maybe we potentially possibly are. Um, so seven by seven, seven by seven, seven by seven, seven by seven, spiffy diffy. Let's do this straight away. Building concrete, I mean, look, I could be making something super cheaty here. I don't know. Um, I haven't tried this before. I have actually made that one notch too large, but I do intend to extend it past this fence line. So that's totally fine. And wait, let's demolish that fence. I don't want that there. It was making my eye tick. Um, good. Okay, so let's get these guys to work. They're going to go ahead and build all this stuff out. Um, we fill two one. Aha. Number per day needs to be one. Good o. One prisoner arriving at 8 a.m. Off we go. I'm glad that I checked that just before we finished up. We've got one prisoner with one meal and he has been fed. The heater hasn't been hooked up. Why? Oh, because I've hooked it up in the wrong bloody location, haven't I? Um, no, just two. We'll be fine. Okay. So let's look at what this guy needs. He's going to need warmth. He's got it. He's going to need entertainment. Got that. Uh, contact family. Sweet. Toilet hygiene. We've got those. Uh, we've got food and exercise to... Oh, no. Hang on. Objects. Jail door. Actually, let's do it. We'll do a large one. So we'll get a jail door out to the yard. And then in the common room, uh, we're going to have a couple of weights benches. We're going to have another couple of telephones and then a radio right in the center of the room. Uh, in addition to a couple of just chairs where people can just sit and relax and chill. Just chill out in the common room, not doing very much, but this guy there he is. He's doing his exercise. He's a skilled fighter, somehow. Um, it must have been when he was burglarizing. He managed to fight, like, guard dogs and stuff. Um, I, I assume that that's the case. But, um, cool. Okay, so that's taken care of. Let's get ourselves a large jail door to let us down. Nope, that's going to be uh, that's gonna be the wrong size. We'll get a regular jail door. Okay. That should do the trick. And then once this opens up... We're going to get ourselves parole rooms right flipping now. We've got 28 grand still up our sleeve. And then we can turn on the parole room thing because I need to concentrate on churning these guys out. Uh, seven by seven. That doesn't look right. Uh, rooms. Payroll. Five by five. Okay, great. And then one more here. We're going to get... I mean, I don't need to put walls into these areas, but I'm going to because I feel like it's probably going to be a good way... Oh, this long, thin thing, it's not quite working out. It's not you, it's me. Okay, materials, demolish that wall. I don't want that. And let's get rid of this planning. It's getting in the way. Uh, what we're going to do is, first of all, we get some power down into here. So we can uh, light this joint up. We are going to need, of course, to put in some lights because uh, I have turned off auto lights. So we'll pop those here above the parole room tables. And then what we're going to do is get another visita visitor table in the center. And then we will do a room visitation, right? So this is visitation in the middle. 
Uh, we'll get another light above this visitor table. And we'll open this door for these boys. Good. And then we're going to use different materials to discern who's who. So, visitation, wooden floor. Nice and warm, nice and friendly. Um, when it's time for you to do parole, I think that's fancy time. And that's when you need fancy tiles to let you know that you have uh, you have done good. Uh, you are getting prepared to be released from this hell... I mean, uh, delightful prison. Um, and what we'll do is we'll just clone up. Can we do the whole thing? We cannot. Okay, let's do these two. And we'll just do chonka chonka. Oh, poo. Oh, bother. Okay, hang on. Wait, cancel that. No, wait, wait, wait. Cancel. No, no, no. Cancel. Cancel, cancel. Cancel. Rooms. Cancel that. And then we need to leave a gap. Yes. I forgot to th that I needed to leave a gap. So quick build this blob and we'll do like that and then like that spiffy and then this guy uh, can go like that and then like that. And then in between materials wise, I think we should have just some like, I guess, tiles just to discern who's who. Just to separate the rooms. I mean, this is all wildly wasteful. Um, considering we're so early into the game. But, I, I kind of want to... I mean, this is like remarkable progress. I mean, there's no cells in this prison. And we have just lost power. But, I think we're doing like pretty stockingly well so far. Right? I mean, look how look how quickly this all came together. I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy. Let's get these... Um, these new capacitors up and running. Let's get ourselves, uh, I guess, no, policy. We want programs locked. <sighs> we need prison labor. All right, warden. We know what you're being like, be lining towards. Prison labor, it's over here. Let's guess. This dude underway. Let's get an extra grant researched up um, and we'll rip ourselves towards prison labor so we can get our parole rooms online as quickly as possible and boom power on there we go Whew! wow what a ripper of a first episode what a ripper of a prison i'm uh i don't know about you guys but i'm pretty happy with how that's turned out and i'm uh yeah i'm looking forward to how this challenge goes so uh like the sound of this don't forget to like and subscribe um and uh, say hi in the comments below. I'm always, uh, always floating about. I'm still, you know, still small enough that I can say g'day when people come in downstairs. And uh, yeah, friends, I hope you tune in for the rest of this series. I hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you next time.